Speed, luxury, and the endurance Nike shoes. Inspired by cars by Daniel Chung. Introduction. My name is Daniel Chung. I attend York Castle High School in Jamaica. I am an athlete and I love to run. Before a few years ago, I didn't really care what I wore. Since but since lately, I like shoes a lot and they just look so cool sometimes. But there is something I like more, cars. I have always loved cars. It's a family thing. My dad loves cars, I do, and even my grandpa likes cars. I don't have a favorite car because I like them all. I also love playing video games such as Apex Legends on PS4, which I am very good at. The following shoes will be based on my favorite cars being oh. how do i scroll down you uh you can click the arrow if you want to go to the next slide or if you press it once it'll go to the next one so go no, back to this your slide there's uh, yeah there's so yeah you click that little arrow by the plus sign at the other end of that or you can just right. go here click three go right to your here. left okay right right favorite yep. cars being lamborghinis fords and bmws these are the apex legends pictures i found and i have 61 kills in three weeks whoa yeah beasts what's this call of duty or is this another game yeah, I play Call of Duty as well. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. The speed shoe. This shoe, as the name suggests, will be for speed, running, and competition. It will also have a touch of comfort and luxury, but because it is for running, it will have to be very breathable. Marketing. This shoe is to target car enthusiasts and males mainly, especially the younger generation. It can also become liked by athletes. The price is planned to be $80 to $200. $200 is very expensive, but this is impossible with all the features. So I would like to have two versions, one with one, one with and one without the features. Why? It, the one with the features is expected to cost $300 to $600 max, no more than that. I think it is unlikely for Nike to put that much money into research for the features, so if the features get dropped, then it should be cheaper. Features. I drew up a version of how I wanted it to look. It is my favorite. It is in my favorite colors, orange and blue. And I even have the car like that in a game. If you see the sneaker, the sole is very thick. And I had this crazy idea to put a bunch of pistons and a vacuum into the shoe. The pistons would make a mold and the vacuum would suck the rubber off the bottom of the sole of the shoe that it would give a print and would give you better grip. It would come with two default modes, one for drag and one for drag on concrete like drag tires right here they're extremely flat they're just flat and sticky and one for more rugged services like grass and rock i would also like to pay some homage to the humble lamborghini founder ferruccio lamborghini his initials would go on the exterior tongue main materials carbon rubber even a little on the upper part to make it more rugged and overlaid mesh. Luxury shoe. Like my first shoe's inspiration, this one will be. Should I admit this person? Uh, yeah, you can. That's fine. Like my first shoe's inspiration, this one will be based on a car. The previous shoe was meant to be focused on sport and speed but I believe that there should be a shoe for everything. So this second shoe will be a luxury focused one. 
it will be very comfortable. Though the shoe is still capable of running, you wouldn't be wearing something you wear to a running event. This luxury shoe will be based on the 2019 BMW Z4, which is right here. Marketing. I aim for this shoe to be as affordable as a Lamborghini shoe. I would also like to have two different price ranges like the Lamborghini. One for the shoe with the features and one for the shoe without them. They will be focused to most middle-aged people, like people who are already successful in life. The price for the features is aimed to be $100 to $200. The price for the shoe with the features could cost $300 to $400. Features. Seeing that this is a luxury shoe, it is fitting that it has luxurious features. And what I realize is that most, almost every mega luxury car has something that is super rare. If it doesn't have, if it doesn't, it has small and unpredictable features such as the ambient lighting in BMWs, Audis, and Mercedes Benzes. I would like the shoe to also have ambient lighting, detailed stitching, and a scented interior. <laughs> a scented interior. Main nice, I love it. Smart foam, rubber, and small amounts of wool. The wool will go on the inside, since it's very soft. Hiking shoe. This shoe will be focused on camping and will be very versatile. It will be based on the Ford F-150 Raptor, which is one of the toughest trucks in the world. Just a, a little bit of information. This truck could do the Baja 1000 in Mexico stock. That's crazy. I love it. Marketing. This shoe will be made to target anyone, no matter the age. Once again, it will be split into two prices, one with and one without features. No features, $100. Features, $250. The features. This shoe will be very, very, very durable and will have LED lights in the front that are high beamed for hiking or camping in the dark or if you get lost and will have retractable outsole treads for extra grip when you need it. The LED lights in the front may overheat, so near the light, there will be, there will have aerogel. Um, I think I've heard that aerogel is very expensive, so maybe I might need to switch that out for something else. Thin steel wire weave in the synthetics. So if your foot rubs against something sharp, it shouldn't rip that easily. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the whole Kicks Academy team for all their contributions, all their great presentations. Some of that I could never do. <coughs> Some of them are amazing. And once again, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for all the information and I know that coming out of this whole thing, I come out more knowledgeable and knowing more. Uh, this is a BMW shoe. Oh, okay, okay. Now we can hear you. A lot of these, these aspects are based on the Z4 itself, like these rear lights. These are actually on the, the BMW, Crazy. the grille and the front light. And a long time ago when BMW used to do racing with Alpine, they used to have to put straps on the hood so it doesn't fly open when they're driving. So I added some hood straps right here and the interior would be red. Yeah, and just so you know, that hood strap is his, his form of lacing, right? That's going to be your new way of lacing the sneaker. The hood strap to hold down the, the, the sneaker. So amazing, amazing, amazing job. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel.